Good morning and welcome to Church for Kids Lessons for Living Daily Devotional, a time for you and your family to come together to hear in a brief devotional, have an activity and a prayer time together. My name is Kelly Jackson Brooks and I'm the Executive Pastor with Central United Methodist Church in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I hope all of you have found a comfortable place to hear our devotional this morning. I'm outside enjoying the weather before it gets a little too hot. I have my coffee and I'm ready to hear part three of our story of Rachel and I'm reading from the women of the Bible by Margaret McAllister now if you have not heard part one or part two I encourage you to go back a, a couple of days and watch part one and part two so part three of the story of Rachel makes a little more sense I also encourage you because today is the the end of our story of Rachel to look in the book of Genesis find the story and read that from scripture scripture and see what you think. Let us hear these words. The men who went ahead said that Esau was coming with 400 men. Why does he need 400 men to greet his brother? Do they come with bows and arrows and swords? The thought troubles Rachel and once more she leaves the tent and looks into the dark for any signs of danger. Will the morning never come? When will Jacob come back? Rachel prays to God, Jacob's God, the God who sees them, the God who has guided them. She imagines Jacob too, on the other side of the river, standing in the presence of God and crying out for his blessing. Now the dawn is coming and in the half light, she sees a man wading across the river. It is Jacob's shape, but not his walk because this man is limping. But it is Jacob, and she wades in to meet him and walks back to the camp with him. He will not tell her why he is limping, not yet. He does not tell her about his plans for the day. I'm sending the gifts to Esau first, he said, then the family, but you and Joseph are last. I think it'll be all right, but if he hasn't forgiven me, if he attacks, turn, and run. So for a long time, as the lowing, the browing creatures are herding onward, Joseph stands by Rachel's side, trying not to fidget, asking her why they have to be last. She tells him it's because we always leave the best until last. She never lets him out of her sight. The procession moves on. First, the servant girls and their children are presented to Esau, then Leah and her children, and at the last, Rachel steps forward, holding Joseph by the hand. Jacob and Esau stand side by side, each with an arm around the other, and for the first time she sees Esau, a big man with rough, hairy arms and tears on his red face. She kneels, whispers to Joseph to bow and rises, giving Joseph's hand a little squeeze. There are tears in her own eyes too. That's how it should be with brothers, she tells Joseph. Sisters too, whatever squirrels they have, they must forgive. It is the only way. Amen. What an amazing story of heartache and endurance and resilience and love for another, for the care that God shows, for the love of a family, for forgiveness. So as we consider this story, and again, I encourage you to go back, even if you have watched the first few um, episodes, story one and phase two of the story of Rachel. Go back, watch all three, read the story for yourself in the book of Genesis and consider Rachel. So today for our activity that you will also find attached to this, it is about growing up. I think a lot of this story is also about growing up and lessons we learn along the way. So our activity talks about growing up. What are some things that you look forward to? What are things that you think you are going to miss? I think in every step we take, there are pieces that we miss. There are pieces of who we were several years ago that we wish we could go back to. There is an innocence there, but we can always keep those pieces with us 
and we can carry those on. So I hope you enjoy the activity today. It just gives you more ideas and more things to think about, about what it means to grow up too fast, about what it means to ask for that innocence a little bit and to keep that in your life. So with that, let us pray. Creator God, we are so grateful for the gift of growing up, for learning, for maturing, for learning those lessons that our family is with us, that forgiveness is important, for the lessons of endurance and always seeing you. It is in your name we pray this day and remember that you are all that we are. You are all that we do. It is in your name. Amen. Amen. And we will see you tomorrow.